I decided I was going to start this book by telling the story of my memorable meeting with Coco the Gorilla. I was permitted to visit Coco the Gorilla in her quarters. And Coco was an extraordinary animal who had learned to communicate with human beings. She was able to sign more than 600 words. But more impressively, as her handlers told me, she understood the meaning of those words. She knew the signs for water and for bird. And the first time she saw a duck landing on a lake, she signed water bird. That displayed a synthesis of knowledge. So you see, she was obviously very intelligent. I was allowed to go into her compound to enter a room with her all alone. And as I walked into that room, I was reminded that she was an imposing, powerful animal. Smaller gorillas have been known to tear off men's arms in anger. I'm not often afraid, but truthfully, I was frightened. There's a form of acting that teaches feel it and say it, and that feeling will be revealed through your words. The English form is quite different. Say it, and then you feel it. To deal with my fear of this magnificent animal, as I got closer and closer to her, I found myself saying, I love you, Coco, I love you. I said it earnestly and honestly, and I looked directly in her eyes as I spoke. I crouched over a little to show submission, moving forward rather than backward to show I was not afraid. Over and over I repeated, I love you, Coco. I love you. And as I said it, I began to feel that love. Finally, I stopped directly in front of her and looked into her deep brown eyes, and I saw her furrowed brow and her enormous hands. I love you, Coco. And with that, she reached out and grabbed me by my balls and looked me right in the eyes, and after a slight pause, in a substantially higher voice, I tried to repeat, I love you, Coco. Obviously, these words had more significance than a few seconds earlier. 